Lights, camera, action. This is a sexy knitwear shoot. What started as a chat over chai lattes soon became a successful international business. Christchurch Knit Company, Stitch Seekers, created Men in Knitwear, a modern knitwear pattern released every month, modelled by a sexy local man. It's been a hit overseas. Most of the client base comes from the United Kingdom and the United States. Everybody loves it. We've got a big fan base. Every month they, they're all online saying, when's the next band coming out? Because we do them as a surprise every month. So, yeah, it's great seeing the funny comments and the feedback that we get. Wanting to see their Kiwi-based business continue to grow, their dream for the small town company is to become big in the knitwear industry. I mean, knitwear is huge in the Northern Hemisphere. Our biggest clients are bases in uh, the States and Europe, and it's just growing all the time. So um, I guess, you know, of course we want to be a household name. The models for the sexy knitwear are found on the streets of Christchurch. Knitwear designer Deborah Moore met Mr May on her doorstep. I had this um, knock at the door one day and went to answer the door and it was an incredibly hot young French guy who was um, collecting for charity so I had to proposition him of course. The hobby of knitting is changing and coming back bigger than ever. Rhiannon and Deborah agree. This is just the beginning of the knitting comeback. Um, as a craft, obviously, people associate it with old ladies and grannies making pink jumpers, but um, it's actually enjoying a massive resurgence on the internet. Hoping to inspire young fashion minds into contemporary knitting, wanting the rising generation to think, not what can I buy, but make instead. As the men in knitwear continue to appeal, the online presence continues to grow the customer base. Kate Heppel, the editor of a leading UK knitting magazine, recently tweeted, the thing she looks forward to most at the beginning of each month is the men in knitwear calendar pattern. So social media definitely propel it, things like Facebook. Um, you know, we've gone from having a few hundred shares on Facebook to a few thousand and that kind of thing. Looking for models in Christchurch's vast selection of sexy men is no easy feat. Rhiannon and Deborah now bravely hand out business cards to potential stars they see in the street. First of all, it was massively embarrassing. And some guys look at you with absolute suspicion. But uh, I've got used to it now and I'm just brazen. The card simply says, this is not a pickup line, but we think you'd make a great model for our calendar. CTV's Marcus Gibbs, it's your turn to step up. Joel Batista, CTV News.